I'm here to discuss consumer product safety. Uh, recently, we've applied our, our approach to a novel product, uh, the Bosch e-bike system. We have to link uh, the principles of behind a product safety review all the way to the product getting to the marketplace. And right up front, we want to understand what's happening in the marketplace on our product. If the product is new, in, in the such case as ours, then we look at similar products and try to find, uh, as best we can, examples of, of unsafe conditions or how a consumer may use the product or misuse it. For the United States market, we have to consider foreseeable misuse. Um, so how do we intend the product to be used? By design, how is it intended to be used? And how can the customer, how can we perceive the customer to misuse it reasonably? And uh, the tool we use is a risk assessment. And that risk assessment tool allows us to take these uh, injury scenarios and break them down into the steps which lead to the occurrence of the, of the injury. That's a, a very detailed tool, tedious, but it's a, it's a, it bears fruit because in that, in that uh, detailed nature, of walking through the injury scenarios, you have to um, ask ultimately what is the design control? Can there be a design control to prevent that particular injury scenario step from occurring? And um, ideally, we'd like to, to have the design control to take away the injury possibility. We need a process that allows that tool to be used and allows the results of that tool to be communicated uh, up into management and uh, for decisions to be made. Sometimes it can be controversial to say that we think we need a design control, but we don't have one. So uh, depending on where you are in the product development process, that can be a, a controversial subject or uh, time and money plays into the, into the factor. So you have to have the process by which the tools can be used and ideally, you want to use those, those, that process should allow the tools to be used uh, in a timely manner so that you can minimize cost and uh, time against the, the launch program. So that's one of the principles is to have, have the, in essence, the process and to have uh, management support and to have the uh, appropriate people asking for the results of that process at a certain points in time. Uh, one of the very first things we want to look at are requirements, and requirements come in, in many levels. I guess the most highest level might be federal requirements for a product, right? What are our federal, are there any federal regulations for this product? There could be state laws for the particular product. Next is uh, voluntary. Are there voluntary standards which the product may need to meet? Under it is laboratory, ANSI, so forth, third party standards to, for the product to be certified against. Lastly, I mentioned the marketplace at the beginning, so ongoing surveillance of your product or similar products in the marketplace and with emphasis on ongoing. So with the, with the uh, proliferation of social media, you want to you wanna watch the marketplace and draw from that and have a, a feedback loop in, into this product safety process and then you can update your risk register and, and those using the tools and keep, keep a, a database, so to speak, updated.